Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jason, old car guy, and tonight we're going to try and figure out what the heck is going on with Dale, so stay tuned. So before we get into this video, I encourage you guys, stop looking at my hair. Yes, I know it's been three months since I've had a haircut. I've got an appointment on Saturday, which is when you guys are watching this. So in the next video, I promise I won't look like Shaggy. Anyways, the point of this video today is to try and find out what's causing the issue with Dale. Now, so if you go back to this video right here, which is the previous video, uh, we broke a rocker arm and a push rod and we got that fixed and ever since the truck hasn't been running right. So the object tonight is to see what we can do to adjust the valves, loosen them up a little bit, try and get rid of that little bit of a ticking noise and see where we go from there. So what I've got here is I've got an old valve cover here for a small block and what we're going to do is we're going to cut the top out of it. and that we're going to replace with the valve cover that's on it so that we can run the truck with the rockers showing make the adjustments and not get oil splattered all over the place because every time we do this well we make a friggin mess i'm determined tonight not to do that so i'm going to get this top cut open and then we're going to come back swap it out and get dale running so i'm going to get this old rocker cover valve cover whatever you want to call it cut up so that we can get them swapped out and then we'll start making our adjustments and see if we can't get rid of the misfire or the whatever is going on with this and if that doesn't work well we're back at square one but at least we can eliminate that i am prepared to take the head off if i have to to see if we've got some damage to a valve but we're not going to cross that bridge until we eliminate a few other things so let's get this cut up and start uh, getting it swapped out So you guys have all seen this before. Uh, this is just an old valve cover with a top cut out of it so that we can access those 5 8 nuts on the top of the rockers to make the adjustment. So what I'm going to do before we get started is I'm going to loosen them back just probably about half a turn or so and then we're going to start the truck up and start making our adjustments. And all we're doing is we're loosening them up until you can hear them clacking and uh, then we're going to tighten them until the clacking goes away we're going to wait a few seconds for that lifter to build pressure and then we're going to go probably somewhere around i don't know a quarter to half a turn on each one to try and set that preload and hopefully that's going to do the trick once we get this side done we'll go over to the other side we do have to remove the ac bracket to get the valve cover off and we'll do the same thing over there once we get that done we'll come back We'll check the timing, we'll set the distributor, we'll lock it in, and then we'll take it for a quick little test drive and see if everything's working fine. See if that little miss is still there. If it is, we gotta dig deeper. If not, we'll button her up. So I'm gonna go start the truck. We'll back it up a little bit, get it uh, so the exhaust is outside, and uh, we'll start making these adjustments. So without giving it too much RPM and spraying oil all over the place, which I've already made a little bit of a mess, I'm not getting that same snapping sound coming back through the carburetor. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to switch valve covers. I'm going to put the original one back on this side. I'm going to go over there. I'll do those adjustments again and we'll see how it works. As it sits right now, I'm at probably a quarter, maybe a little bit more than a quarter of a turn. Uh, preload we're gonna try that and see how things work uh, once we get the valve covers back on we can give it some rpms see if there's noise is still there so 
I'm going to come over and do the other side once I get that bracket off and uh, we'll get those adjusted as well. Okay, so we've got everything back together. We've got our bracket on, we got our valve cover on. Only lost one valve cover bolt, had to replace it. But it's all back together. We're getting ready just to check the timing, make sure that everything is good that way. And then we'll start with a quick ride around the parking lot and then if it's running good and not spark knocking, we'll take it out onto the road and see how she works. So cross your fingers, let's get that timing set. So the timing actually looks good right where it is. So we're just gonna take it for a little spin around the park a lot and see how it works. If it's responsive, we'll get down in the road. All right, here she goes. So we should know right away, I'm just gonna back up here and give her a good shot of fuel and see how she responds. If it falls flat on his face, the timing's not right. If it gets up and goes, we know we got her. So, let's try it. Well, it's not spark knocking. It's not spark knocking, but it's certainly not uh, responsive. So, let's uh, get it out onto the road and we'll try it again. I'm gonna close the garage door and uh, We'll just take it for a quick rip down the road. Well, that's certainly a different Dale than the other day, I tell you what. The sun is beating on me right in the face. Let's get turned around and try her again. lifters or those rockers just certainly weren't set right but as I pull into the yard here I am I don't know if you can hear it tell you this it's certainly working good but after that quick rip up the road and back we're just uh seems like we're back to square one it seems to be working good not perfect not like it used to i think maybe some adjustment on the tuning and uh we're gonna pull it back in the garage here and see if we can find out where that little rap tap tap's coming from Wait, what? Yeah, it does that once in a while. 
So before we go looking too hard, I'm just making to make sure that none of my buddies are around with a socket extension wrapping on the bumper. So we're good there, I know I'm alone. Sounds like the lifter on this side or the rocker or something uh, is tapping away on this side here. So, um, but I don't get it. The truck is working almost, almost perfect. Like a little bit of timing and this thing should be squawking the tires like it did when we first got it. Um, Yeah, so I'm thinking that the valve cover on this side is going to have to come back off and see if we've still got something loose or see if something else broke or see what the deal is. I don't know. I'm, I'm lost for words, but uh, like before, you guys have any suggestions, put them down in the squawk box down below and tell me what you think. And uh, I'm thinking that probably in the next video, we're going to have to tear this thing apart. So. Uh, that's going to do it for now. It's uh, almost 9 o'clock and uh, frustration and defeat is beginning to set in so I think it's time just to say enough is enough for tonight and uh, we're going to call this quits. Guys, I appreciate you sticking around and I know that some of you have said, you know, the bright side is this makes for some content. Yes, but this isn't the content that I certainly want to be giving you guys. It's, uh, um, you know, you spend some, a lot of time and money trying to get these th these things working so that we can show them off to you and uh, you never expect to have an issue. I'm no professional, by the way. I never claimed to be a professional and uh, I, is it something that I've done wrong assembling the motor? Quite possibly, I don't know. Uh, I feel pretty confident in myself that, uh, that I can do this and uh, I've done it two or three times before, so I don't know. I'm just... Uh, I'm at a loss right now, so I think the, the next step is to uh, get a second opinion from Tim, my mechanic, and my dad, see where they stand on the whole thing, and uh, they probably will agree with me it's time to tear the intake off and get into the uh, passenger side bank uh, of valves here and see what's going on. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you all. God bless. I guarantee you we'll see you in the next one.